piano play it Ubububu.com. Hey, welcome back to another free piano lesson by pianoplay.com. This is David here, and in today's free piano lesson, we're going to discuss musical rests. What are rests? Musical rests are signs of silence. I believe it was Leopold Stokowski who said that a painter paints its pictures on a canvas, but a musician paints its pictures on a silence. What I'd like to say is that silence is a very important element in creating music, for it's the contrast for creating sound. If we produce a sound all the time, we're going to be really tired by all the noise. The silence gives us a really nice contrast and it allows the music to breathe. So in the previous piano lessons, when we talked about rhythm basics, I taught you about notes with different tone lengths. We talked about the whole note that lasts 4 beats, about the half note that lasts 2 beats, about the quarter note that lasts 1 beat. Today we're going to learn about the whole rest, the half rest and the quarter rest. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how these musical rests look like and then we're going to play a short musical piece with this specific musical rest. Okay, so here's a quick review. We started with the whole note. A whole note lasts four beats. Every whole note has two half notes, and each half note has two beats. Every half note has a quarter note, and each quarter note lasts one beat. So we basically have four quarter notes in a whole note. The quarter rest looks like this. This is how it looks like. So when we see this sign, we know that we have to count one beat and to do nothing actually, to lift our hand or to lift our finger from the key in order to keep it silent. So let's see how we're gonna play a quarter rest in the fifth symphony by Beethoven. This piece starts with a quarter rest. Therefore, when we're gonna count one, two, three, four because the piece is in four quarters so I start by playing the one silently and I enter with the left hand with the second finger on E one two three four one two three four one notice that I lift my hand in the first beat because I have a silence so playing a silence is an active action so one two three four one two three four let's see what happens next here's a quarter rest again one two three four one two three four one now pay attention I taught you before that when we play on the grand stuff we play simultaneously on both steps I taught you that you have to read each hand apart but basically you have to play them both together so now that we know of the quarter rest, it's time to work on the two elements together, the right hand and the left hand. So when we have E in the left hand, I already have a quarter rest in the right hand that tells me that while I play E in the left hand, I have to keep the right hand silent and to enter in the second beat, okay? So I have to play one on the left hand and C on the right hand on the second beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Do you get it? So, while I'm playing E on the left hand, I keep the first beat in the right hand silent and I enter in the second beat. The half rest note on the other half tells us that we have to rest for the value of one half note. What we're going to do is place a little square above the third line. So if this is the third line, this is how the half rest sign looks like and it tells us that we have to rest for two beats. Let's see how we're gonna play a half rest in the next musical piece, Little Night Music by Mozart. When we look at Little Night by Mozart, we see that we have to play four quarters. We start only with the left hand. We have to play C with a staccato, with the first finger on the first beat and we have to keep the second and the third beat silent for we have a half rest on the second beat so we have to keep two beats starting from the second beat meaning the second and the third beat have to be quiet and we enter again in the fourth beat on G with the fourth finger so basically it sounds like this 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's have a look at the third beat for a moment. So we play with the right hand and the left hand simultaneously. So while we play C, G, C, break on the last one with a quarter rest on the left hand, we play a half rest in the right hand plus a quarter rest. So we have to keep the first three beats silent while we play with the left hand and we enter with the right hand on E while we keep the left hand silent. So basically we do left, 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 right, right. Let me show you this line again. One, two, three, G, C, two, three, G, C, G, C, E, G, two, three, four. Let's move on to the next line. So basically the same happens in the same line. F, two, three, D, F, two, three, D, F, two. Moving to the left and after keeping two beats of silent because of the half rest in here. So, F, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay guys, so I'm gonna quit this piano tutorial in here for I want you to click on the link on the right or below, depends on where you're watching, where you can go to my specific page where I show the full piano tutorial of musical rests with rhythmic patterns that will show you how to practice these new musical rests and finally we'll see some musical pieces, some free piano sheet with these new musical rests so you can get to the bottom of this piano lesson. I hope to see you in my website and if not, until the next time, bye guys! Piano play it. Piano play it. That